Welcome to episode two of Ask Dr. Scotty from Strength Rebels. I had a question uh, the other day about uh, about Strength Rebels itself and uh, well, what are we rebelling against? If, if we're Strength Rebels, what's what are we rebelling against? What's this, this whole big rebellion? Well, as anything important in life, we always got to refer back to Star Wars. And, and this is where a lot of my love of the concept of, uh, of rebellion comes from. Um, if you think of the uh, the dogma that's out there relative to fitness and health, uh, a, a lot of it, the empire, would be the organizations uh, that promote aerobic exercise as really the be-all and end-all from a health perspective. And maybe, if you're lucky, give some credence to uh, muscle strengthening type activities. Uh, for, at Strength Rebels, this is one of the biggest things that I think is flawed in our rehabilitation and physical therapy world, is the focus on low intensity or low to moderate intensity aerobic activity, pushing then into moderate to a vigorous intensity activity getting up to 150 uh, minutes per week not that there's anything necessarily wrong about that recommendation but it really is very narrow in its view and it's very narrow in the way that uh, you you can look at the type of adaptations that someone needs for example someone who is an older adult uh, who has lost a lot of muscle strength a lot of muscle mass while you can stave off some of the potential problems um, associated with that with some aerobic training it certainly can't do it to the best degree and you won't optimize your mobility so I think part of what we're doing is we're really trying to say that you know what there is a better way of, of really getting at some of the adaptations that we really want to get at particularly from a strength and power perspective um, the other aspect of that is looking at the convention of therapeutic exercise and the whole concept of uh, the fact that we underload our clients and uh, um, I think we have this big fear of loading clients and we have our, a big fear that we're going to do harm uh, this is where I really do think uh, going back to my, my answer for the first question uh, in Ask Dr. Scotty um, was around uh, well how do you hone your skills well you need to train you need to actually get out there and understand what the movements are like what the proper uh, cueing is what proper technique is and uh, really spend some time under a significant amount of load to be able to translate that to your client and I guarantee once you start doing that if you've done it with good uh, good progressions and with a good coach uh, to help you along uh, what you'll find is you'll find that there's a significant amount of power to strength training so this is I guess the opposite from Star Wars is you know you don't know the power of the light side in this case so you don't know the power of the rebellion I would say that a lot of physiotherapists coming out of school don't know the power of strength training and they don't know the uh, uh, the advantages that you can get and, and how it can really translate to improving someone's function uh, so what is strength rebels we're, we're really rebelling against convention uh, that is suboptimal and and really trying to look at well what can we do to optimize our care for our clients and our patients. That's it for today. Keep asking guys and don't forget to subscribe.